flag, talk to me, uh, Mike, or Rick, and we will get you one. There will be no manipulation of the bolt, action, or trigger outside of the designated safe areas. Uh, if you need a, if you need to troubleshoot your rifle, just come talk to again me, Rick, or uh, Mike, and we will help you out. Um, when moving to another shooting location, always ensure the chamber flag is in place. Yeah, that was this? Yeah, I we're talking about. I, I wasn't sure if it was actually like when you posted. It was like. Oh, the weight. Okay. Oh, the weight. Yeah, right. Hey, awesome. Nice. Is there any? On the positive note, you're far less off yeah. and confused than my buddy Freddie. Okay. That was good. Oh. Guys, I see his note like, where the fuck are your matches? I have the same question. Hello, Rimfire friends. This is um, some video footage I took of the uh, latest ORPS match in the NIMO um, this past Sunday, April 24th, 2022. And uh, we had a really good turnout, actually, uh, better than the first time. Uh, quickly want to just mention before this video gets going that um, I had quite a few shooters come up to me and ask me about this video and, and the Facebook postings and that sort of thing. And, I just want to quickly say that uh, I do my best to, to film as much as I can, um, but of course I'm shooting in this match and in between shooting I'm trying to help out spotting and timing and, and helping out my group. So um, I, as every match goes on I will get more and more film of course and, and do as much filming as I can. Also I want to apologize for the shakiness and I was pretty much bumping into everything I possibly could with this tripod and uh, just trying to not bump into too many other shooters. So I do apologize for the shakiness of this, uh, some of this footage. Spotter, you ready? So first up here is uh, Rick's son, Logan. He was our, um, I don't know, our powerhouse shooter today. And... Um, I want to say that, like, it's one thing to be an adult and throw around these rifles and scopes all over these crazy positions, but it's another thing entirely to be somebody of a, of a smaller stature um, and go through the paces. It's pretty impressive. And, like, it's hard to tell from, from this angle, but um, the, the actual seat on that chair maxed out the cant on my bipod. So it's quite challenging to shoot out in this position. This was a hit to advance, so. He's getting some uh, some shooting help from his uh, from match director Rick, of course. His dad. <laughs> and this is of course uh, most of you will recognize from other videos um, this is Caleb my, my kind of like my training partner in ORPS we do a lot of training together and, and, and he is a master at this, this kneeling hybrid position. Man, I don't know how he does it. He is much more accurate from the kneeling position than I could ever be. And I would need to get a knee up to equal his, uh, his accuracy from this type of position. I don't know how he does it. Impact! You got 35 seconds left, Kelly. Okay, 
you know, even fitting in my tripod with this camera on it in between all the other shooters and all the other gear is a challenge just to find the the real estate. It's it's tough to get an angle. Oh yeah, yeah. the hell? So this is um, a stage where he's shooting uh, on a strap that's suspended loosely between the rungs of the ladder, and he's engaging a target five shots at 75 yards. And um, you know this is challenging for uh, you know an adult who could get a knee up, but uh, unsupported like this is it's quite difficult. And I want to say a little thing about this this dude here is my first stage I, I cleaned of the day and I was you know to the moment as soon as I got out the very first person to give me a fist bump was this dude so he you know made everybody and felt welcome and, and you know just just one of the shooters he's transitioning here uh, five shots at 50 um, unsupported sitting and man that's a challenge for anybody I think I got three out of five on this one myself and that's with a sling uh, this stage here is uh, from the top of the milk crates, you engage targets at 100 yards. And then you transition between each milk crate, prone, um, 25 yard targets. And these were, I knew it was going to be a challenge for me. Um, this was one of the hardest stages for me. Nice. Nice job, dude. Clear and made safe. Oh, you really? You're natural. Oh, yeah. So anyway, here's the award <laughs> ceremony, <laughs> and uh, I just want to, you know, thank everybody for watching so far. Any questions or comments, uh, no, leave them below. Awesome. I'll do my thank best to much. answer them. Um, and, you know, thanks to all the match directors, uh, Rick, Kareem, and Mike. Uh, you know, it was a blast. Everybody I talked to, uh, absolutely you guys, you guys can't wait to go back. Um, and I, I know I feel the same way. Uh, also, thanks to all my fellow shooters and competitors. Um, every single person was just a joy to be around and everybody had smiles all around that's hopefully the plan uh without further i'll get into the uh the winners here uh in first place for our youth shooters <laughs> <laughs> been eyeing this thing up sitting on our, our safe at home for like a month now going I want that one so just a reminder everybody women and youth shoot free at the matches so bring them up and, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll remember that next time <laughs> um, oh veterans have to pay hmm? veterans have to pay <laughs> so uh, for production I know that I said that there was only, there, there were no production a couple days ago, but within an hour of that post, I think there were five. So oh. that worked out well. Uh, oh, that sandbag. <laughs> <laughs> so in third place, I, want, I really want to confirm this one. <laughs> in third place, we have uh, Brian Perkins. Hey! All right! Hey. There you go. Yay! Nice. Yeah. If I can get a photo with everybody at the end too, we forgot I think to do that last time, so we also need to do photos. Uh, second place, production. It hurts me to say this. <laughs> Mr. Lonnie. Alright. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, first place production, Tony Lee. Are you production? No, I messed up. I messed up. Okay. Yeah, oh, ignore okay. that. <laughs> oh, it's going to hurt you even more now. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, I'm like, wait. <laughs>
for third place, Mr. Mike Jones. stage uh we're gonna do a random draw like i said before it'll be uh you get an entry for every hit plus one just because it showed up uh i think there was 50 points in total so we'll random draw we bring it up there, right? there. so random num generator 17 17 is daniel ulmer oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's nothing fancy it's just a little 3d printed box and there's some random ammo in there some SK shit and then some uh that's a wrap. <laughs> Hope you guys have fun. <laughs> and by the way, Dan took first overall regardless of match directors or anybody, so we're really gonna shoot. Wow. Yeah. No, no, that's that's true. True. You beat Korea? What? I was not expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you're gonna get on your scope <laughs> <laughs> I just like to say real quick, actually. I want to thank like the match directors for putting this together because like it is so much work and you know it's been so much fun, especially for me being new. So thanks a lot to you guys. Yeah, no, thanks for coming out. It's uh, I'm glad that we finally have a group kind of big enough to make this work on the island because I know there's been a few of us that have been traveling away a lot to shoot and it's nice to do this at home. Mm -hmm. It's certainly a lot uh, cheaper and easier, that's, that's for sure. So yeah, no, I, as long as you guys keep growing up, I think we'll keep pushing this and hopefully we can grow it and see how it goes. Maybe we start getting a little yeah. bit of longer stages every once in a while or have some fun. Yeah. So again, thanks for coming out. Great shoot. That was, uh, that was a good day. Woo! Range is green. Let's get a photo of everybody, and uh, if, uh, all the medal winners can show off their trophies. Oh,